In this video, we will cover the employee setup portion of performance reviews. This includes assigning a supervisor to the employees, assigning competency models to employees, adding employee goals, and determining who's eligible for the additional earnings, if applicable. To get started, go to the Employee menu, select Employee Profile, and select Employee. Here, you can assign a supervisor who will be responsible for completing the supervisor evaluation. Select a supervisor from the drop-down menu and save the screen. Note that this supervisor is considered the employee's direct supervisor for the review process. This field must be set up if your review should go to the employee's direct supervisor. The supervisor permission screen will not be used to determine the employee's direct supervisor for review purposes. Next, to assign the competency model, go to Employee, Performance, then Overview. The Overview tab identifies the competencies assigned to an employee. Core competencies will automatically be assigned to all employees. To assign the desired competency model, select the model from the drop-down menu list and click Save. If job profiles are used at your company, the competency model would automatically be assigned to any future new hire or employees whose job title changed in the future. This method will only apply to the competency model to employees whose job title is assigned after the model is assigned to the job profile. It is not retroactive. If your company has many employees, it's no thwarting that the global change screen in the employee menu can be used to mass assign supervisors and competency models. To learn more about how to use this tool, see our video on global changes. It should also be noted that supervisors can assign competency models with the appropriate permissions. On the employee performance review screen, you can see any reviews currently scheduled for that employee. This screen can also be used to schedule an off-cycle review for the selected employee. To do this, select the Add Review button in the upper right-hand corner. Next, choose the review profile to be used as a template, fill in the needed dates, and select a supervisor to complete the supervisor evaluation. This process allows you to use a review profile that is already set up and choose a different timeline than the one pre-programmed within the review policy. Off-cycle reviews can also be scheduled for multiple employees at once or at a mass scale using the Performance Manager. If you are using the additional earnings feature in Performance and it is turned on, the Overview screen is where you can mark which employees are eligible to receive an additional earning payment. Once this is set up, you'll need to determine which goals count towards the additional earnings. To turn on the additional earnings for an eligible employee, switch the additional earnings to On. Enter a name, a type, and an amount. Click Save at the bottom of the screen. To view or add goals, go to Employee, Performance, then Goals. Or if you're already on the Performance Overview or Review screen, click on the Goals tabs. Goals can be added by company admins, direct supervisors, or the employee. To add a goal, click on the Add Goal button. Fill out any of the necessary fields. Name and start date are both required. A completion date can be added once the goal has been completed. Setting the priority of the goal is optional, but when used, it can communicate the importance of a goal to an employee by flagging it either high, medium, or low. If the goal should be included in a review, select the Include in Review. If the start and end date of the goal align with the review evaluation date, the goal will be included in the review. If this goal counts towards an employee earning an additional earning, in other words, a bonus, check the box below. If the employee completes this goal, they will earn a portion of their bonus. If this goal aligns with a company goal, turn this option on and select the company goal. To learn more about company goals, check out the company goals video. Add any task for this goal. Adding a task will create a checklist for this goal. Click Save. To view information on a goal, click on the card. You can add task, add comments, and mark a goal completed by putting in a completion date. Any comments or updates to the goal are logged in the activity log. To edit 
archive, or delete a goal, click on the ellipsis icon in the top right hand corner. Once you've completed the steps in this video and previous, you can schedule your reviews. Check out the review policy video for more information on how to schedule your reviews.